Hi well, everybody. Last night around 10 o'clock, Suzanne and I were in bed and I'm writing this devotional when the doorbell rings. Well, immediately fear began to rise. Um, we live long enough um, to know it's usually bad news when the doorbell rings at that night. And it ended up being some internet scam uh, that brought a young guy to our door. And But as I'm standing at the door with my nine millimeter, I'm reminded that 2020 has brought a lot of fear and uncertainty into our lives. Um, the series that we're in right now at the church is called The Fundamentals, and this week we are talking about faith uh, to help each of us um, have a deeper relationship of trust with God, to choose faith over fear. And Evan said in the message on Sunday that in the hierarchy of what God wants from us, faith is at the top. Um, four years ago, as many of you know, I had a crisis of faith uh, when my oldest son died, my world fell apart around me. And it was in those times where I realized that God doesn't owe me anything, but he promises to be with me in everything. I learned that a crisis um, can be an opportunity to deepen one's faith. So this week we're going to dig into Hebrews 11. And in this chapter, the author recounts story after story of people who faced great challenges with faith. Um, take a look at the chapter. Let me just hi highlight a few things. Like in verse two, it says, for by faith, the people of old. Verse three, by faith, we understand. Verse four, by faith, Abel. Verse five, by faith, Enoch. Verse six, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Verse seven, by faith, Noah. Verse eight, by faith, Abraham. Verse 11, by faith, Sarah. You're getting the point, right? Verse 20, by faith, Isaac. Verse 21, by faith, Jacob. Verse 22, by faith, Joseph. It goes on and on like this through the whole chapter. And I love what um, in verse 31, it says, by faith, Rahab, Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel. And then in verse 33 and 34, it says, who through faith, through faith, conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight because of, of faith, by their faith. Evan said that faith is confidence rooted in relationship. You know, times like these that we're living in absolutely can shake us. Everything going on in our world is designed to keep us afraid. And by the way, I don't think faith is the absence of fear. I think the faith we're talking about isn't in us or in systems or in other people, otherwise, you know, we would have reason to fear. The faith we're talking about is in God and in his ability to help us overcome and to be strong uh, even in our weakness. Uh, that's why we can be confident in the midst of the uncertainties we live in or as everything shakes around us. You remember that uh, story of Jesus in the boat asleep? A, a storm comes in um, that threatens to destroy the boat and every disciple in it. And it says in Mark chapter four, but he was in the stern, Jesus, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and he rebuked the wind. And he said to the sea, peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said to them, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Why are you so afraid? That word mean, is, is a Greek word that means timid. It means faithless. And then it says that they were afraid of him, but it's not the same fear, word for fear. That word means to be in awe or to reverence, to, be, to revere Jesus. So, so they were, in one sense, they were afraid because of the wind and the storms. And then on the other, when they saw the power of God in Jesus, they, they were in awe of God. And that causes me to ask the question, and I've been asking the question for these past four years, what do I believe about God? What do you believe about God? Do you believe that that God holds the whole world in his hands, including your world? Uh, do you believe that he controls the wind and the waves? Do you believe that he has power even 
over death, today, like every day, is an opportunity to deepen our faith in God. So how do we do that? Well, it begins by making a choice, a decision, to put your world in his hands, your finances, your security, your relationships, your family, your career, your sickness, your addiction, your fears. So I want you to ask yourself today, what do I need to give God today? What area of my life or my world am I finding it difficult to trust him with? Would you put whatever those things are right now in your hands? Just maybe put your hands out and and just begin to call them out as you put them in your hand metaphorically, right? And, And whatever it might be, whatever fears you're facing, and would you, as you put these things in your hands, would you lift your hands to Jesus and say this prayer with me? Jesus, I give you my fears, my finances, my uncertainty, my future, my family. I trust that you can do more with them than I can do worrying about them. I trust you. I put my faith in you. My whole world is in your hands. I love you all and have a great week. Keep deepening your faith.